Hey everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read, which is going to be for all of you out there who really feel like you really need some guidance around love life. This reading will help you know that. I will be um, putting out some oracle guidance cards for you during this uh, video, and uh, I hope it is going to help you a lot with your current situation that you are dealing with when it comes to your love life. So stay tuned, and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. And it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for personal reads and palm readings as well. You can check the description box and reach out to me on my email ID as well. So yeah, let's dive into the read and let's find out what oracle guidance that you really need right now in regards to your love life. What is the oracle guidance that you currently need right now regarding your love life? What oracle guidance do you need right now regarding your love life let's see we have our first card here live in the moment what you are looking for is with you now for majority of you probably you are having some issues regarding your love life because you are unable to focus on the right now you're thinking about what's going to happen in the future what is going to come through for you the the ultimate desire that you have maybe getting married to a specific someone maybe you're not getting the commitment that you want but everything else is perfect in your love life right now with your person so the divine really want you to live in the moment right now for majority of you you are stressing a lot about the future Future that you are unable to have fun and excitement when it comes to the live in the moment right now so I really feel like you know it's time for you to do that now for those of you who are completely single right now I really feel like you know you got to enjoy this moment right now that you're having be thankful for what you have and um, be excited to receive some beautiful relationship that you are craving and wanting and wishing for um, whatever you're wishing for if you start living your moment every moment of your life with that gratitude that something abundant is going to come through for you and the the kind of relationship that you want that you desire god is preparing that one person for you exactly how you want them to be and you surrender in the given moment i feel like you know nothing compares to that uh moment when you get your result when you get your desire when you get your person in your life and the happiness and contentment that you're going to have around it, it's going to be matchless. Why? Because when you live in the moment and be grateful for what you desire and what you wish to have already, you attract exactly that or something more than just that. So I really feel like you know, that's what the divine really wants you to bring your focus to right now. Live in the moment and start living as if you already got the one. You know, this is like a magic, you know, this works like a magic because when you start believing that whatever you desire is already something that you have it, it manifests quicker than you know it. So one of the messages the divine really wants you to hear is that, and let's see more messages. Wow, we have our two cards here. It's time for, it to, uh, for you to free yourself. Uh, it's time to take uh, back control of your life. Now, for a majority of you, I really feel like, you know, you might be entrapped in some negative thought process. And if that is the case, the divine really wants you to set yourself free from that. Um, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're in a situation, if you are not letting your mind be free from negative thoughts, nothing is going to work well for you. It's time for you to take back control of your life. Start um, believing that you have all the power that you need right now to make major decisions of your life. Um, stop giving so much power to other people. Stop giving so much power to the person that you're currently dealing with. For instance, if this person is not giving you the commitment that you desire, don't see yourself blocked as if your person is not giving you commitment. That's why your love love is stuck. No, you've got the power to get the commitment from that person how do you get it but believing that you already got it and setting yourself free from any um unhealthy thought process that you might be having which is bothering you which is kind of like you know uh, making you feel like maybe what if it never comes in what if uh, this person never gives you what you desire are you going to waste your life are you going to waste your time all those thought processes that are making you feel like negative right now or unwanted right now coming from any possible scenario i really feel like you know, you've got to free yourself from that for some of you probably you are in a toxic relationship but still you are sticking in that toxic relationship 
that is again something which you really need to break free from. So the divine really wants you to make sure that anything that is making you feel bad right now, you have to set yourself free from that. And then wait for something beautiful to come through. Worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. So allow that process to fall into place um, and bring you what you desire. So I really feel like, you know, you have to have a strong faith in the divine timing. And um, as you wait, while you wait, make sure you're not thinking negative because that is going to keep you blocked. Uh, let's see more Oracle Guidance here. We have, okay, I'm going to take all these cards here. Let's see. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So the divine really wants you to know one thing. There are so many things that you need to work towards. So instead of wasting your time thinking, oh, why this is not happening, why that is not happening, start working on yourself. There are so many things like you have to work towards. Why? Because the God and the divine is telling you that, that there is a support and heavenly blessings coming your way, which is going to help you heal uh, any physical or mental or emotional challenges that you are having right now. So maybe there is something that you need to start doing to work uh, on to build confidence in yourself and in in, uh, in the given situation. For some of you, maybe you need to kind of like, you know, start taking care of your body. Maybe you need to start doing the things that makes you feel more confident. So start doing all those things. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Again, living in the moment and believing God is with you and God is giving you more than what you have asked for. Um, you can also use it as your mantra. Like I, uh, you know, God always gives you more than what I asked for. And I'm so glad uh, that I'm receiving the love of my life. So you can use this or something like that in your affirmations all the time to keep yourself on the right path, to keep yourself positive. So you don't have a time to think negative thoughts. So try to keep yourself positive and excited about your future that you desire, not in a negative way that, oh, when is it going to happen? Oh, is it ever going to happen or not? No, don't do that. Replace those fearful thoughts with positive ones. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and um, well cared for by God and the angels. So the divine really wants you to, for some of you, probably you feel like, oh my God, if I don't get married, how am I going to become a parent or something like that? Again, try and relax. That's all you need to do right now. For those of you who have lost a child or something, God really wants you to know that they are definitely under pure protection of heaven. So uh, just relax around it. I am, be that a baby, a pet or something like that. I mean, either way, it's, it's like God really wants you to know that God is there helping you, guiding you, healing you. So try to relax. Don't, don't overwhelm yourself with anything right now. I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. Again, divine really wants you to open yourself up to the messages that has been conveyed to you by heavens through dreams, intuition, and other signs. So listen to them and allow the process. So the last message is, time out. You have been so busy taking care of everyone else needs but now it's time for you to take stop and take care of yourself so that's exactly what you need to be doing right now which is going to put you on the right path to get you what you want so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye